tell us about your self-portrait piece. What did you draw it with? Um, I used pen and ink. I used six different pens and some colored gel pens. One of the things I noticed about this is there seems to be kind of an element of, I think they call it pointillism on this. Could you tell us about the technique you used? The hair or certain parts of the project, I use a thicker pen or with a, like a thicker point. And for like the skin, for the dots, I used like the thinnest point that we had. Did this originally come from a picture that you took or, or is it freehand? Um, it was a picture that I took on um, Snapchat and then I um, printed it out and then drew it from the reference picture. And then I had to like redraw like three times to get to where I wanted to be. And then I had to sketch it out on sketching paper to get on better paper. And then I had did the dots. The, the final actions of the picture. What would you say was the biggest challenge in this process? The, I would say the biggest challenge would be the like the skin because I have to I had to shade with like shading pencils first and then so I could have the different layers um, of the pen and then when you're done with that you have to keep going back you look at it oh there's you know it could be a little darker here so I add more points but you have to be careful not to add too much points because it'd be too dark. Sure, I was thinking that keeping those points consistent is probably a big challenge. Yeah, it really was because you don't want you have to make sure you do it because if you do it too hard, the ink might spread and you have big dots and you have like a lot of little dots and it'll just look a lot a big mess. How long does it take to do a piece like this? Well, it took me like two to three weeks. It probably could have took me sooner, but I was kind of lazy and some days I wasn't really feeling doing art, so I didn't really do much because I didn't want to mess up my piece. But taking a piece like that takes a lot of time, so about like two, three weeks-ish. What would you say is the most rewarding thing about doing this piece? Um, I would say a lot of like, I got a lot of like praise. A lot of people didn't know I could draw, so and I didn't know how well I could draw. So when my final product, it like really surprised me because I'm like, I never done something that well before. Do you suppose this piece, years from now, might kind of serve to be a reminder of where you were, what you looked like at this stage in your life? Have you thought about that at all? Um, well, yeah, because when I took the picture, it was over the summer of my junior year and if you look at a picture now like that you see the work that you've done now and let's say like 10 years from now when I'm better at drawing from all the practice you see oh how much you've um, you know advanced or developed in drawing, your drawing skills. Yeah and obviously this is a very personal piece too because it's of yourself and yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, you put a lot of time and effort into it. What is art to you as a student? Art to me as a student is like a getaway. Like it, it gives me like peace of mind to put my focus onto something other than school. It's like a, a like a relaxer kind of like meditation type of deal. How do you feel about getting a chance for your art and the art of all your friends to get seen by the broader community here at the art show? I think I think it's good because it gives more attention to the art classes, you know, it get more funding and then it shows people like how talented the students at TSF can be and like, you know, just makes us feel good that other people see our, our work and see what they think of it. <laughs>